Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan good uh, afternoon to all of you. So let's continue our uh, our lecture for the chapter four, eh? for sequential circuit and the uh, flip flops. Okay. Let me share the screen. So let's continue our uh, chapter four. Eh? Chapter four is the sequential uh, circuit and the uh, and the uh, flip flops. All right. So before this, you have uh, I will explain about the what is the difference between the sequential circuits and the combinational logic circuit. Eh? And then on the on the sequential uh, sequential circuit, we have two type of the actually depends on the timing again. It's the synchronous and asynchronous. Okay. And then uh, they explain on, on the ledge. Okay, actually, ledge is the uh, and the flip flop is a uh, one of the basic uh, okay, storage element that operate with the signal level. Okay, that's uh, for ledge and flip flops. Okay, and then uh, last week already explained on the ledge. Okay, we have four type of the ledge that you have to remember. Okay, and then also explain on the uh, flip flops. Okay, on the flip flop we have two types. That is the F trigger and another one is the master and slave, master slave flip flops. Okay, so the last we already explained on the uh, H trigger. Right, also we have uh, four type of the uh, okay flip flops for H trigger. Then today we go for the uh, we try to finish on the chapter chapter four for and then continue on the previous case okay, previous uh, okay, previous lecture. So we go for the uh, master slave flip flops. Okay, as you can see in the slide. All right. So this is uh, we call the master slave. All right. So we have the. Okay, we have two type of the. Okay, for example, we use the D, uh, D flip flops. So we have one we can call the, as the master, and another one we can call as the slave. All right. So the master slave flip flops introduced to overcome timing problem that might be occur to the flip flops. Okay, that means we have two similar flip flops as you can see in this figure. So, for example, we have two D, uh, two D flip flops. Okay, D stands for data, or sometimes we call delay. Okay, delay flip flops. Okay, are connected with the difference clock. Okay, so this one, eh? so actually this one, uh, uh, as you remember last uh, lecture. So this is a uh, positive. Okay, because of no bubble here. So this is we call a positive H figure, and here. So we have the bubble here, so we refer to the negative H figure as you can see in the clock here. So this we call the positive H figure, and this one we call the negative H figure. So that's why we have two, uh, okay, two of, uh, of the attribution. Okay, so this we call the, uh, refer to the positive H figure, and this one refer to the negative H figure. So the positive H figure for D, this. We uh, declare as the D1 and this one is a D2. Alright, so D flop uh, 1 and D uh, flip flop 2. Okay, so the D flop D2 is uh, referred to the negative H figure. D1 refers to the uh, positive H figure. Lah. So the output of uh, the output is stable even though uh, input change. Okay, so that is the, the master is the flip flop. Eh? So you can see this here some result. Uh, yeah, so we have the clock here. Okay, actually it's the same clock, but there's a difference uh, on the uh, attribution. One is the positive H figure, okay, for D1, and second one for negative H figure. Lah. So you go for the Q1. Eh? Actually, the D2, the input of D2 actually is come from the output for uh, from D1. Okay, you have to remember. Eh? So this means the output. Uh, the output here for D1 is the input for D2. Okay, that's why you have to find the uh, the output for uh, D1. There is the key note here. Eh? The key note here. So we have to find that. Uh. Alright, so clock is a positive. Okay, uh, it's a zero here. So automatically it will be zero. Even this one it will be one. Okay, actually because of the clock is not activated. Okay, it's to zero here. 
so this one is the starting will be zero and then all right so we activate here on the positive figure so the d is one so automatically will be d1 until for the next okay for the next uh positive integer here all right so the next positive integer you can see here Okay, you can see here, so the negative H figure, right, the positive H figure here. So now, all right, will be activated here. Wait, huh? No, the plus. All right, so let's continue, eh? let's continue on, uh, on the, uh, Okay, for this one, it's a positive H figure, right? So, uh, positive H figure here. Okay, so the uh, D is a zero here. So, automatically, it will be zero until for the next, okay, the next positive H figure. Next positive H figure. So, now D is a one, all right? So, automatically, one until for the next, okay? So, we will be next is positive H figure here, all right? So, now... Uh, D is a zero here, so automatically our uh, key note uh, for the output for is a zero. Okay, so this is the for output uh, for D1. Okay, and then actually this output is the input for uh, D2, eh, for D1 here lah. Alright, so based on the, now we know we have to refer to the uh, negative H figure. So it's the, it will be, it currently will be for zero lah. Okay, because of uh, dot activate eh? all right so we can activate here all right so we activate here so our our input will be will be one here so automatically we one okay one here until for the next okay negative h figure here okay negative h figure here so next is a zero here so automatically it's a zero until for the next okay next negative h figure and then uh, our one okay our input will be one so this one will be one until for the next okay for the next figure and so on okay that is the uh, the master and slave flip flop lah uh, you can see this one eh right so next we go for the uh, okay d latch versus d flip flop lah uh, you can see we have a uh, okay for example we have the latch okay here so we have the flip flop here the flip flop here all right so but uh will be share Okay, we will share uh, okay, in the same clock, but this one will be uh, enable input. Okay, based on the clock, it will be enable input for the latch. Okay, and then this one, the clock here will be positive H figure. Okay, here, positive H figure, and this one will be negative H figure. All right, so maybe we can declare this one is the uh, D1. Okay, but this is the latch. Okay, and then D2 is the two clocks. And then D3, okay. As soon as D1, D2, D3 lah. But the connect in there, uh, it's not a not is a not a parallel lah. Uh, it's not called apa. It's because of the D will be same eh. Uh, D input okay will be same because of the will be share the same input lah. Okay, not like previous okay the previous for example, uh, the input uh, the input uh, for the D2 actually is come from the input output for the D1. For this one, uh, we'll be share the same input lah. We'll be share the same input. So this one will be D, D and D lah. Alright. So but this one uh, will be based on the uh, enable input and then uh, this one uh, positive is figure and this one negative is figure lah. Okay. First, you have to find the Okay. So this is the clock. Okay. This is called a positive figure, negative is figure, positive is figure. So this one, eh? right? So we can do uh, separately, right? It's okay. For this one, you can do. Maybe you can start here. Up to you. You want to find the QC of also okay. You want to find the QB also okay, or you want to find the Q A also okay, lah. Because of not related each other, lah. Because of before this, uh, okay. So the 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 input okay uh, for the D two actually come from the uh output for, uh, for from the d1 that's why we have to find the the output for d1 then we go for the uh, d2 
right? So for this one, okay, so for Q1, eh? all right, so we'll be active here, lah. okay, active uh, issue master in it, uh, on the uh, positive figure here. So D is one here, so typically we be one here, okay. Right, so but still in active, eh? so still active. All right, so now here is zero. Okay, will be follow this one will be zero, one because of this clock will be the force of this clock is still active. So we follow the okay, until this one. Okay, until this one. Okay, so it will be negative. So now is the D is a, a zero here. Yeah? So automatically zero until for the next. Okay, for the next uh figure, figure okay on the this part all right so now d is a zero so basically will be zero now d is one okay we will follow lah, because still this one still uh, in the uh, active okay for the enables input here so this one will be zero this one will be one eh? uh, okay so this one will be uh, okay d uh, will be this one will be follow eh? we will follow the previous okay okay so one here, so basically all of the previous is one. Uh. So that's the for Q1. All right, for the QB, uh, QB here. Okay, QB here. So on the this one is a positive trigger. So now we will for zero lah. Uh. Okay, not activate. Right until this one will be activate. So now our D is one. So D is one until we go for the next. Okay, D is one until for the next. Uh, sorry, the next here. Okay, the next uh positive trigger here. So the next. Zero, okay, zero here. So this one will be zero until the next. Okay, positive is trigger. All right, for the D three, D three is the negative is trigger here. Negative is trigger. All right, so starting will be zero. Uh. So this one also zero because of not activate. Eh? Not activate. Okay, we will activate here. And then uh, our D is a zero here. Okay, that's why here we get zero. Uh. Okay, zero until for the next. Okay. The next uh, negative is trigger lah. That's why we we'll make it zero. So the next D is one here. So automatically D is one. Okay, one until for the next. Okay, negative is trigger lah. So that is the the result eh. Okay, for the D latch versus D flip flop lah. Okay, comparison of the level sensitive and is trigger device. All right. So next we go for the asynchronous uh, preset and clear. Okay, you can see this one. The most okay, integrated circuit, the IC, uh, P flops have synchronous inputs. Okay, uh, so normally we uh, label as the preset or pre here. You can see pre or clear. Okay, or you can see on the on the the symbol. So we have uh, a synchronous preset and set lah. So you can see here. Okay, preset and clear here. So you can see if the preset equal to zero, we call it active. Okay, active. Okay, activate uh, for preset. The output is the set uh, or height, and then the clear. Okay, activate uh, reset. The output is the reset or low. Okay, this one is one, and this one will be low uh, zero uh, for the low. Okay. So this input change the flip flop output without the uh, clock triggering lah. Right, so and then this is a true table. Uh, we, call it, we can call the true table for the uh, preset and okay, preset and the clear. Eh? So you can see when the preset and clear is a zero zero, that's you the we have the invalid operation, uh, invalid operation. Okay, for the output is the invalid operation, and then if we have the zero one, that's mean pre we have zero, clear is one, so that's mean we have the Q is one uh, to be set. Be set and then if pre is one, okay, uh, clear is a zero, that's mean will be reset, uh, reset operation because of activate is a zero here, eh? so that's why so we we'll activate here, eh? we we'll activate the the preset actually, so that's why we call it set, okay, so that's why we call it set uh, here, and then because of this one will be activate, it is zero is uh, activate here because of the uh, active flow here. So that's why the operation will be reset. And then if one one, okay, we call the flip flops. Okay, flip flop normal operation is the toggle lah. Okay, will be invert the uh, the okay invert the previous. For example, the previous is a zero will be one. 
one will be zero. Lah. Okay, so maybe you go for the example. Eh? You can see here, the example here. Okay, so uh, we assume we go for the positive. Eh? So you can see this, this step. So we go for the positive case figure. So that's why first we have to uh, line up. Okay, straight line from the positive case figure. Uh, positive case figure. Okay, for example, eh? positive case figure. Positive case figure. Positive case figure. And then positive case figure. Alright. So now we use the T lah. T eh. T, uh, P flop. This means it's a toggle lah. Okay, we be toggle. Okay, so you can see here. So uh, we be activate here. So our T is a. Okay, our T is the. Okay, so this currently will be zero eh. Will be zero eh because of the not activate here. So will be zero, right? For the Q here will be zero, and then this one will be one. Okay, will be activate lah because of the uh, P. Okay. Uh, you can see here, so uh, this uh, P is 1, and then the K is 1. Right. So that's why we can get the toggle. Lah. We can get toggle. So we be 1, okay, until for the next, okay, for the next uh, positive S figure. Eh. So positive S figure, so uh, this is 0, okay, the uh, T is a 0 here. Okay, and then uh, one one. Okay, there is no change. Huh? Okay, no change. All right, until this one. Okay, because of the clear. All right, so uh, this one will be activate. Okay, so we activate. So that's why it will be clear lah. Okay, the zero. Okay, the zero here. Uh, sorry, this one zero here will be uh, activate. Okay, on the clear will be activate here. So we will clear lah, we will be reset. Okay, so before this is one, so will be zero until until for the next. Okay, next here here. So you can see the one 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 will be toggle lah. Okay, will be toggle here. So we were until for the next is the okay one one one. Okay, that's why it get toggle. All right. So and then this one will be activate lah. Okay, will be activate. Okay, will be activate. Okay, so we activate will be set lah. Okay, before this is uh, zero. Now will be one lah because of the set. Okay, because of uh, the pre will be activate here. Okay, will be set. That's why the Q will be one, right? And so on, sir. Okay, so this is some example. Okay, so next we go for the flip flop operating characteristics. Okay, so we have uh, some characteristics that you have to know for the flip flops. First, you have you have to know the propagation uh, delay times. Okay, so you can see required time intervals for the output signal to occur after an input signal has the apply lah, has it apply. So you can see, for example, here. So this is actually uh, in the real real uh, application lah. So as, as you can see, actually the clock will be like this. It's the ideal something like this. Eh? Will be very smooth. Okay, uh, something like this. The clock. Okay, uh, but not something like this. I have very ideal. This one we call the ideal clock. Uh. But if you zoom, okay, the clock may be something like this. I have the some of the slope, okay, uh, something like this. Not smooth, maybe some have the, some overshoot here, for example. Okay, they have some. This is the non ideal, lah. not ideal. Uh, okay, not ideal for the clocks, even for the output, also. Uh, also, when we zoom, so maybe we have the something here. Eh? We have an overshoot here, for example. We have the ripple here. All right. So that is then uh, not ideal. Eh? But this one will be, we assume as the ideal. For example, if this is the ideal like this, it's like this. Okay. Maybe like this. Okay. All right. So you can see this point. To this point, you can declare as the. Uh, propagation delay okay for the height height propagation delay lah okay propagation delay here and then from uh, clock okay for example we have like another one clock here and then this one will be here so the, from this point to this point we can we can declare as the uh, propagation delay for the low okay low eh? this one for the height okay this one for the height and this one for the low 
okay, population delay for the low. Alright. So next, we can call as the setup time. Okay, setup time is the minimum time interval for the signal to retain the value before clock pulse trigger. Right. So this is our D. Okay, the output for D. And then this is the clock. So that's we call the setup time. Lah. Okay. Okay, for example, like this, this is ideal. We assume as the ideal. Something like this. Okay. And then this is clock. Something like this, clock. Eh? Maybe ideal lah, ideal. Maybe it's just more. Alright, so this one D, this one a clock. Okay, so this is called the uh, this one we call the setup. Okay, setup time lah. Yes. Okay, this one we call the setup time. Okay, next. Okay, so next we call the hold time. Okay, hold time is the minimum time interval for the signal uh, to retain the value after clock pulse is triggered. Alright, so this some uh, we show some uh, the ideal case lah. Eh? So the ideal case. So this is our our clock. Okay, so this is our D for example. Okay, alright. So from this one. So this one we call the holding time. Okay, we call it TH. The holding time here. Yeah. Right? So this is holding time. And then next is the maximum uh, clock frequency. Lah. Clock frequency, the highest rate uh, at which the clock can respond to the input signal. Lah. Okay, this is uh, the ideal. Okay, so okay, so this one to this one, you can find the frequency maximum lah okay, next. F -mat lah maximum clock frequency right so next uh, characteristic of the flip flops we have the pulse width okay the pulse width is the minimum clock pulse uh, width with the small uh, smallest time between the uh, high and low lah right so and then another uh, characteristic we have the power dissipation Okay, so the power, uh, power distribution is the total power consumption of the flip flops. Okay, there is some example here you can see. So for example, we have 7474 chip has two D flip flops, uh, which each of the flip flops operate at the five volts DC. Okay, positive and draw uh, five milli ampere. Right. So and then we can calculate the uh, power consumption uh, of the flip flop. Okay. So the uh, the formula of power equals to P VCC multiplied by ICC. Lah. So VCC is the you know here is the uh, five volt multiplied by five volts. That's why you can get the thirty five milli watt. Okay, thirty five milli watt is the only one feet flop. You have two feet flops. Okay, power total. That's why you have to multiply by two. So the total power we have the uh, fifty milli watt. Okay, milli watts, and then you have to uh, get the Current, current flow for uh, for the on the on the fifth flop so divide by five okay divide by five so that's why for uh, every uh, fifth flop we can get the current flow here will be 10 milli ampere okay this this that's why therefore the the chip must be supplied by five volt dc positive supply if at uh, least at least uh, 10 milli ampere of the current. Okay, so this is the uh, some calculation uh, for the power dissipation. Uh. So first you have to calculate the power consumption on the for the for the one flip flop. For example, we have uh, two flip flop. We have to multiply by two lah. If we have four flip flop, we have to multiply by four lah. For example, then from the total to so divide by the voltage. Okay, for the voltage, then we can get the current flow lah. Okay, the current flow for every flip flop. Okay, next, I think this is the last part for the chapter 4. That is the application. Uh, okay, the application of the flip flops. Okay, so the first application of the flip flop is the parallel data storage. Okay, so this is the, uh, the application of the, uh, of the uh, flip flop is the data storage. Uh, so as you can see here uh, on the, um, the figure here, so you can see we have the parallel of the uh, flip flop D using the we using the D flip flops okay uh, can connect that trailer to make uh, as the memory uh, or memory storage <coughs> you can see here <coughs> so every input we have the D not for example eh? uh, so this is a different 
every uh, pick crop we have the different inputs uh. we have d naught d1 d2 and d3 okay and then we have share with same okay same clock and also we have the clear uh. we have the clear <coughs> we share the same clear so this is the for example this is the uh, input for d naught this is input for d1 d2 and d naught okay for example d naught is a zero d1 is a one d2 is a one and d d3 is the zero so and then clear will be on the first stage here okay and then we have the clock okay for example we use the positive uh, clock eh? so that's why you can see initial will be zero eh? okay zero that's why it will be the rest will be zero eh? zero 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 okay and then you can see the clock to be activated here okay but uh, for the not to be zero okay the one will be one uh, okay the two will be one and the three will be zero okay right so this one we can see the uh the people will be clear eh? so this one the data all the data will be clear here and then for this part the data will be stored lah. so we store the data here for example it will be stored on the uh, Okay, on the Q, Q1 and Q2 uh, will be 0, 1. Okay, for example, we have to read from this one, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. That we call the data storage. Okay, and then next application is the frequency division. Uh. Okay, you can see some example here. Alright, so for we have using the JKK clocks. Okay, so this is a frequency in and frequency out. So that's what we call the frequency division. As you can see, this is a frequency in, okay, to calculate the, uh, you can calculate the, this is a T, yeah? okay, T, so from the T, you can calculate the, uh, the F, F equal to 1 over T, okay, and then you can see for the, for the input here, uh, T, A, so it will be, uh, okay, will be input here, so this one we call another T here, so another uh, 1 over uh, T, so we get, and then next for B, so we get another, uh, another uh, period here, uh, T, and then for the next, you can see, so we have another uh, period here, then we can calculate the frequency, that's why we can call this one as the frequency division, so it will be uh, increased, uh, okay, for example, uh, the, the frequency from 1 over uh, T, so this one will be increased until this one, uh, until uh, get the frequency out here. Okay, so next application is the uh, counting. Uh, okay, so the counting. Alright, so for example here. Okay, so this is some example. So the people can be used as the counter. Uh, either it's a regular or irregular sequence so for example this is a regular lah, right regular sequence or irregular sequence eh? okay so i will go for the uh, example eh? so this one is uh, first you have the step lah. okay we have the step first you have to get the output here for example for j okay so maybe you can declare this one as the uh, j1 uh, you can declare j1 k1 uh, ka sorry J A K A this one J B K B and this one for J C K C for example for J one so what is the J one the first step you have to get the input okay the boolean expression for the J one J K one J B K B J C K C so for J one is the one lah so you can see here it will be J one and then also K one will be one okay K one K one will be one here and then next for J JB, okay, JB here, so also 1, 1, and then we share with KB also 1, okay, similar like this one, uh, similar like JC and KC will be 1, 1, okay, that's why you can see here, will be actually it's the regular, uh, regular sequence, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven zero one two three until so you can see this one eh? okay. zero 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 actually is a zero 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 one is a one zero one zero is a two zero one one is a three one zero zero is a four one zero one is a five one one zero is a six one 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 is a seven eh? that's why you can get the 
regular sequence lah. Okay, so this is we call the counting lah. Okay, so we go for the example here. Okay, so we can get the, or we have the circuit here. Okay, okay so assume all initial condition as a zero. Okay, this is a clock. Alright, so the first step that I mentioned to you, the first step you have to get the wooden equation for every uh, input here, right? Eh? Okay, so uh, maybe I declare here as the, you can see here, I declare as the K uh, DC lah. Okay, so this one, eh, DC. This one, you can declare DB, yeah, as you can see here. So this one will be DA lah. Okay, so it, you can get the wooden equation for every D. Okay, D here, eh? DC, DB, and DA. So you can see for DA, actually DA is the A. Okay, you can see here. Eh? DA is the uh, A bar. So, okay. And then for DC. Okay, this is DC. So, you can see. So, will be. Uh, okay, this is the. Uh, okay, this is the. Um, C. Okay, and then another one will be. Okay, B bar. Okay, B bar. Okay, that's so why you can get here. Eh? So, next here, you can see you get the. Uh, a bar C, okay, from this one lah, C will be connect here, and then another one from A bar, this one, A bar, okay, connect to this one, so this one will be A, B, C bar, so, and then you can get the output here lah, so the output here eh, so this one, the output for DC is the uh, B bar C plus A bar C plus A, B, uh, 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 A, B, C bar, right, so this is the output okay output here for the boolean equation and then for the db is here here lah okay uh, for example we get that is this is the a bar b this one is the a bar b all right and then will be a a uh, a b bar plus a bar b all right so that's why it's the b here then second step okay this is step number one we have, that you have to remember for the counting Second step, you have to develop the two table. All right. So I will show you how to get the, the how to uh, write the two table. Eh? So this is the equation. Eh? Okay. So this why you can okay. This one starting uh, this is normal lah. So starting from zero until uh, okay until seven lah. So on this is on the decimal. Okay. So you can see zero zero zero. Okay. This one one two three four five six seven. Eh? So zero zero one. 101 okay so clear eh? so this one i think uh so you have to clear this one eh? so just follow the sequence okay zero until seven all right so this one okay the control input for dc db da is come from okay this part this value for example come from the equation here okay for example for dc okay dc okay i will show okay i will show you a simple one lah. okay da Okay, how to get the DA one is here. So we know DA equals to A bar. Okay, so what is the A? A is the zero. So bar is the one. That's why here will be one. Okay, get it. And then for DB, DB here. Okay, DB. All right. So A. A. All right. A here. A. The first eh? same DB here. A is a zero. Okay. Applied by B bar. B bar is a 1. Okay. Because of 0. Uh, bar is the 1 plus. Okay. This one will be 0. Right? Okay. So A bar. Okay. 1. Multiplied by B. That's 0. So plus 0. 0 plus 0 will be 0. So that's why here will be 0. Similar like for DC. Okay. Similar like for DC. So for DC. Okay. Use this formula. Lah. Okay. For DC. Right, so B bar, B bar is the one multiplied by C, C is a zero, okay, A bar will be one, C will be zero, okay, plus A, zero, uh, B, zero, okay, C, one, B, B, C bar, eh? so, dot, 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 so will be zero, okay, zero, 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 okay, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, so the, that's why the DC will be 0. This also will be similar. Eh? For the next, 
for the next for the control input just okay for this one uh, okay use this input to substitute to this one for example okay for this one eh all right so da da a bar so now our a is one so bar will be zero that's why here we get, we get the zero okay similar like the uh, for db and for dc lah based on this equation okay all right clear eh? for this one for the next step okay for the next step here for this part actually will be just follow the p from this one eh? so you can see so here will be here step here here step here Okay, see this one okay so this one the next step and because this is next okay zero 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 the next will be zero zero one that's why the next is a zero zero one okay here zero zero one the next actually is a zero one zero that's why here will be zero one zero so will be next okay actually you just uh, copy from this one uh, bring to okay bring to here for example next we bring to here okay next we bring to here okay next right something like this okay that is we call the next step lah. the next step for this one eh? the next step here so this is present this is actually next step here so for this one it's, that's why you, that's why we bring here so zero zero one it's zero zero one okay so this is we call the next step lah. okay uh, so this is uh to show you eh? to show you how to complete the true table that i will explain after this okay so this one is the starting lah. Okay, you have to start from zero until it's follow the sequence lah. If not follow the sequence, just follow based on the question. So if not given, so just follow the sequence lah from zero to seven or this. So we have three inputs lah. We have four. That's mean from zero to fifteen. Okay, that's on the symbol. Okay, this is the uh, the flip flop D D A D C for example. So based on the Boolean equation. Okay. So this one we have to refer the Boolean equation to get the output for DC, DB, and DA. Alright. So this one is the next step. Okay, that's why you can see here. So bring here to the here and then next bring to here. Next bring to here and so on. Okay. That we call the next step. Okay. Then you can see after you get the complete. Okay, this is the complete the okay, the, the sequence. Okay, complete the sequence and then you have to find the sequence eh? so from this one you, you have to know lah. so the sequence number is the uh, 001 okay that's why the will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 will be start 0 1 2 3 that's because the uh, sequence lah. sequence number for the logic circle okay that this actually okay from this circuit okay this is the that we call the counting lah. that will be count from 0 1 2 until 7 and then repeat again 0 1 until 7 we repeat again okay that is this is the circuit lah. okay when you design the circuit we want we, if you want to design the the apa, the digital circuit for counter okay you can use this circuit yeah you have to you have to have this circuit, okay this digital logic gate okay the, you have to use the logic gate okay, and you can use this one to <coughs> do the counter lah. but this one is the is the sequence number lah. That's mean uh, we start from zero, one, two, and so on. Okay. That's we have another one. Another example is can start maybe we start from two, not a regular sequence lah. Start two, uh, one, seven, five for example. Okay. So that is the irregular sequence eh? <coughs> Okay. So this is the. Then you can draw the time diagram lah. Okay, you can draw the time diagram. Okay, you can see here. Actually, this initial will be zero, right? Eh? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will start again. Zero, one, two, until we will be repeat again, eh? Okay, we will be repeat, we will be repeat. Okay, that's why we start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is the regular, uh, regular sequence, eh? Okay, maybe we go for the another example. This one you can. As the irregular, okay, irregular is not sequence, lah, okay. But just mean we start from the zero, okay, zero zero zero, then we start with the zero one zero one one zero one one one, okay. So as you know, so this is the four five, this is a uh, six, this is a seven, for example, okay. 
Right. So the first step you have to find the uh, the here. What is the J C K C K here J B? You have to get the bullet uh, equation lah. So J B J A J A. Right. So this one. Okay. For J C is the actually is the A B. So J C is the A B. And then K C is a one. Okay. K C is a one here. And then for J B. Okay. J B here. All right. So it's come for, okay from A. Okay, this one will be A, and then another one. Okay, okay, this is A, and then another one will be. Uh, okay, this is J. All right. Okay, will be C bar. Okay, C bar. So the J B is the A C bar. Okay, and then. Case B, okay, KB you can get lah, okay, from this one, okay, will be share, this one will be A, and the other one will be C, so this one will be A plus C, alright, so it same like JA uh, and KA lah, so that's why you can see this one eh, okay, so this is the, uh, the bullet equation lah, for JC here, okay, JC here, KC here, 1, okay, AC, alright, so KB here, A plus C, and then J A actually is the uh, K C uh, is the C bar here and then K A is the one. Okay, then after the first step, you get the equation here. Then you can draw the uh, draw the truth table lah. Okay, so you have to start the initial uh, as a based on the equation. We start initial equation is a zero. Eh, make sure don't start with the uh, okay. So this is the you have to make sure. Okay, as you all in solution, this means we start with 0, 0, 0, eh? We start with 0, 0, then we go for 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Okay, here. So we follow this equation here. Zero, uh, one, uh, one zero one. Okay, one one zero, one one one. Okay, this one eh? So, uh, okay, follow this one. Actually, it's uh, suppose it's follow. Maybe uh, this one some mistake lah. Okay, suppose this one will be uh, zero one zero. Okay, for example, this uh, maybe different example lah. Alright, so one one zero. Okay, this one 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 zero. For example, sorry, uh, sorry, is this okay? Zero one one, okay. This one A B C, yeah, A B C. All right. So this one you have to make sure, okay, A B C, okay, but yes, one zero one, okay, this one zero one, okay, next one one zero, okay, this is one one zero, maybe different, okay, sorry, yeah, I think uh, the question will be wrong uh, because this one take from another example and this one. Some of the just okay, just this one will be one 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 eh. Okay, I'll do until like this ah. Okay, All right. So the next step, okay, just this one will be uh, follow this one eh. Zero uh, one zero one. Okay, this one will be uh, here. Okay, this one will be one one zero, and then this one will be one one one. That will be follow lah. Zero zero zero. Okay, and then for J A K A. Uh, uh, J, K, apa, J, B, K, B, J, uh, J, C, K, C, just follow this one lah. Okay, for example, right, for J, A, here, yeah, okay, for J, A, to get one, here, yeah, so you know, A, B, okay, so, A, B, A, B, zero, dot zero will be zero. Okay. A, B, yeah, so, uh, A, Zero dot zero eh. Suppose this one will be zero eh. So that's why this one I think uh they have different. I think uh maybe some problem on the on the question three. So this one will be zero eh. eh sorry J A sorry J A J A here. That is the J C J C is a uh is a zero actually. A B A B J C eh is a zero. Suppose zero okay. For J A okay J A C bar. C bar here, okay. That's why J C, uh, J A C bar, C bar, 
zero zero one. Okay, ini kita terus eh is one. Okay, for ka, ka is one. Kita terkeli ya. So ka all the ka will be one eh because all the this is static lah. That's why here so you can see all the ka is the one. Similar like kc lah. Kc also all the kc will be one lah. No need to find. Okay, but the, for example like for kb eh for kb a plus c a plus c a plus c zero plus zero will be zero lah uh, for kb that's why you can get zero okay and so on okay just follow this one lah so that is i think uh, the question and then for the solution they have a diff, uh, there is some mistake right i think mistake on the question so maybe uh, before this they have adjust on the question so that's why here it's not same yeah you can try okay for example okay, this uh, Output here, you can get from this uh, bullet equation. Eh? Okay, this is next step. Then from, okay, the, after you complete the two table, I suppose until this one. Uh, this is the complete actually. Okay, so this one will be repeat. Eh? This one will be repeat uh, for the next next sequence. Uh. Okay. So if you can see here, so this is the the complete circle. And then if you plot here, so it will be like this. Okay, for example, eh? 4, 2, 6, 0. Uh, one zero four two six one zero and so on scale okay. then will be repeat 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 again so that's why it, this is equal to uh, regular sequence number lah so from start from four two uh, six one zero four two six four one zero and so on okay so this is uh, is the regular sequence lah okay so if you uh, draw the two table okay based on this uh, this step okay from this step you can see here starting from zero 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 this is initial okay the initial thing is initial then zero five uh sorry zero four two six okay one zero two four uh four two six and so on okay this is the will be uh, repeat lah will be repeat again so but this one we can uh, we can call as the regular sequence lah. okay but the starting is the zero okay and then Okay, but based on the question, we'll be start from 5, 6, 7, then 0. Okay, that's just, uh, on the, this equation. Eh? Based on this equation. Okay, so start from 0. This is the, uh, uh, okay, this is the 5. Okay, and then this is the, okay, actually, uh, so you have to remember uh, some, okay, so this is, okay, assume as the ABC. Okay, so this one, assume as the, uh, okay, suppose if you write here, so this is equal the, uh, okay, this is uh, least significant, uh, most significant, this least significant bit, and this is most significant bit, lah. all right, okay, so that's why you can get uh, 0, 5, 6, 7, 0, 5, 6, 7, and so on, okay, so I think this uh, solution, maybe the solution will be, suppose is the sequence will be uh, 0, 4, 2, 6, one okay zero four two six one and then we'll be repeat again lah. so this one eh zero zero four two six one and then repeat again okay repeat again and again right so this is the and uh equal sequence lah. okay so all right so this is another example lah. okay another example here okay so you can see we use the same okay so that's why okay actually this is the value lah. okay one zero one eh 101 okay 111 okay this is the okay this is same as the question but this one the solution is not same that's why uh, maybe the previous uh, lecture do some mistake lah. Uh, typo typo eh? so based on this one okay you can see here okay so that's that that's the, the try answer this is the try answer lah. okay you can see here and then you can uh, you can plot lah. so this one will be uh, 0 4 okay 0 4 and so on so okay so this some um, exercise okay i will stop here so i will leave it to you to do the uh, exercise okay uh, okay that uh, so this is exercise for uh, okay for this topic so what is the difference between the ledge and fifth operation so you have to explain uh, okay these three application as the uh, on the fifth already explained before this we have the counter we have data storage and we have the uh, frequency division eh? so explain briefly each of the application for the fit talk okay you have to uh, give the explanation lah. give the definition and describe the propagation delay time in the fit talk characteristic lah. so you have a lot of characteristic on the fit talk you have to know lah, 
uh, so on the proportion delay we have two types lah. So one for the high proportion delay and the one is the low proportion delay. So maybe you can explain, uh, you can draw the 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 uh, propagation delay time lah. Okay. So for negative if present, the KP flop if present, uh, if preset pre and clear input determine the Q for the input shown in the timing diagram in figure one. Uh, assume Q uh, start with the one. And the output JK is always one. Uh. Okay, this is some example. All right. So then the exercise. Okay, question number five. You can try this one. Eh? Okay. So this is uh, uh okay. We have the uh, JK flip flops. Okay, positive. Uh, we have two positive figure JK flip flop. Okay, because of this one, we refer to the positive X figure, but this one we refer to the negative X figure. Uh. Okay, you can you have to get the uh, you have to get the output Q1, eh, sorry, Q0, Q1, and Q, uh, Q2 here, okay? So you have to get the, uh, for every, for every Q, uh, you have Q0, Q1, Q, Q2 here, okay? Okay, next, okay, for, this is a solution, okay, okay, solution. All right, so I already have the solution here. You can, okay, and then this is solution for, uh, so you have to draw lah. So you have to draw this, uh, but this is the, uh, the, the, the timing diagram, uh, timing diagram for, uh, for Q, for P, okay, this one the, will be activated, okay, and then for the clear and for the clock, okay, and also this one will give the, uh, okay, the clock and the output for Z here, okay, the, for the JK flip flop, so you can you have to draw lah Q not Q1 and Q2, Q1 and Q2 lah. Okay, so this is the the exercise that you have to try. Eh? Okay, right. So that's all for the chapter four. Okay, so I will stop here. So after this, you have to try lah to to try this exercise, and then uh, maybe next we do some exercise on the tutorial lah, on the tutorial chapter four. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you.